scientists are searching for planets that might harbor life. But what kind of life might we find on other worlds? This Earth Timeline banner can be used for explaining a number of concepts. We'll show you two concepts here that are related to astrobiology, the search for life in the universe. You can read about many more in the activity write-up. The big ideas presented here are simple life developed quickly after the Earth formed. Complex life is a much more recent development. These two facts lead us to the bigger astrobiology question of what types of life are we more likely to find on other planets. Let's take a closer look. I know that I found a few surprises the first time I saw the timeline. I start by keeping the bottom of the timeline folded up so that the progression of life is hidden. It may not be an issue for you, but if you're worried about the response that words like evolution might elicit from an audience, try using the word progression instead. You can often get across the important concept while avoiding hot button issues. Let's see how it's done. So what do you think extraterrestrials might look like? Which type of life do you think we're more likely to encounter on other worlds? Something advanced or something less civilized? The answer is we don't know. But we do have some clues from the only place where we've ever found life, Earth. So let's see what our own history can tell us. Take a look at this timeline. Many methods have determined the Earth to be about four and a half billion years old. We've represented this four and a half billion years by this four and a half feet, with the formation of the solar system, including Earth on this end, and today, over here on the right. Now, some of the major events are listed on top of the timeline, such as the early period when there were lots of impacts, and then later on when oxygen started forming in our atmosphere. Now, we know that human civilization is a recent development at this end. Now, here I have some other life forms represented here. Does anybody want to take a guess at when they might have first appeared? Go and give it a shot. We've got single-celled organisms and land mammals. And if you didn't get a life form, just cheer us on and let us know how we're doing. Okay, let's see how we did. Wow, look at how long it took for animals to develop. Yeah. Oh, and the dinosaurs. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Oops. That was yeah. really wow. wow. So what do you notice? Wow. Huh. Yeah. Now look how quickly simple life uh, developed. Just as soon as the solar system settled down, we see life developing, but then Look how long it took for animals to emerge. And take a look at one billion years ago. What would an alien civilization have found? Now, what do you think this can tell us about our search for life outside of Earth? And how does that change your answer for what kind of life we might find on other worlds? This banner is a great discussion starter and can be used to illustrate many points. You'll find more ideas and extensions in the activity write-up. You'll notice that the bottom of the banner shows the silhouette of a person. That's because you can do this activity on your own body scale, or that of a visitor, even if you don't have the banner with you. One advantage to this method? By simply filing the end of your fingernail, you could erase all of human history.